Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky is making an impassioned plea in English, asking, quote, every person on the planet to gather to show support for his embattled country. Last night, just shy of 6 p.m., someone I know with access to the Ukrainian embassy in Washington and President Zelensky's office sent me a video directly from the man who defiantly hunkered down in Ukraine's capital city, Kyiv, as Russian forces closed in over the past month. Zelensky spoke for nearly two minutes from a dark and empty Kyiv square about the significance of ordinary people around the world taking a stand against Russia's four-week-old unprovoked war, which started a month ago today on February 24th. Here is that video that was sent to me from Zelensky's office. The war of Russia is not only the war against Ukraine. Its meaning is much wider. Russia started the war against freedom as it is. This is only the beginning for Russia on the Ukrainian land. Russia is trying to defeat the freedom of all people in Europe, of all the people in the world. It tries to show that only crude and cruel force matters. It tries to show that people do not matter as well as everything else that make us people. That's the reason we all must stop Russia. The world must stop the war. I thank everyone who acts in support of Ukraine, in support of freedom, but the war continues. The acts of terror against peaceful people go on. One month already, that long. It breaks my heart, hearts of all Ukrainians and every free person on the planet. That's why I ask you to stand against the war, starting from March 24th, exactly one month after the Russian invasion. From this day and after then, show your standing come from your offices, your homes, your schools and universities, come in the name of peace, come with Ukrainian symbols to support Ukraine, to support freedom, to support life. Come to your squares, your streets, make yourselves visible and heard. Say that people matter, freedom matters, peace matters, Ukraine matters. From March 24th, in downtowns of your cities, all as one together who want to stop the war. And today is March 24th. That call to action comes as Ukrainian leaders report initial success in a counteroffensive to win back control of territories around Kyiv. And as President Zelensky prepares to address President Biden and other NATO leaders gathered in Brussels on this one-month anniversary of the Russian invasion.